Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swish Show Roundup. Going to do a review of two, the two top picks I had today. It was, today is July 30th. First, we're going to look at the DWA. A beautiful, nice gap in here, and how to move down. Target was 19. It did not get to the full-on target today, but it did. Actually, the first target was 19.27, then 19. And it got down there to a little bit past the first number. And this still could go, actually, the rest of the day down to 19. However, there's an FOMC uh, report that comes out at 2 o'clock. So I suggest that everybody kind of be flat in all their trades in the afternoon today. So I'm all out of this. And it was a nice gap. And here is the open of the stock. Set up, dropped, broke the low, rallied back. We could have done a couple different ads in this had several different ads in this. You could have taken more in here, you could have taken more in here, you could have taken more in here. It's depended really how aggressive you wanted to be with this today. And you can see how it nicely dropped. And when it was flatlining here, it was really setting up for a breakdown play. And that's exactly what it did. And here it dropped. So this kind of was one that set up late. It took a while to get going to get the momentum into it, but it did turn out to be very good and was a nice play in here for the morning and was able to get all out of it still before lunch, which I usually like to do. And there it is. So nice play in the DWA, nice, good, professional golden gap today. This gap rated well per the 26-point rating system, and it was a good gap. And I'm all out of this here because it's almost lunchtime, and I'm also doing the trends class today, but it was a really good move. And uh, this could go down and break down in the afternoon. I wouldn't be surprised at all if this set up again in the afternoon to go down to $19. It's just not ideal to be in any trades around 2 o'clock today. But, you know, you could take the trade if it sets up, put the stop in. Nice gap here, though, in the DWA, one of the nice top picks for the day. My second top pick for the day was this, GNW. And let's take a look at this one. So what happened on this into the morning move here, you could have taken this aggressively. There was a lot of different entries in here. You could have done it, or you could have weighed it, okay? Now, this was very brisk, the way that this was trading this morning. Not just, I mean, you, it's hard to tell now because this is stationary and flat, but every bar here that actually had a move this morning, whether up or down, was very quick and shushly. Uh, so you could have gotten in this here and taken the trade, or you could have waited for the rally back up for the setup. And in an ideal world, I really didn't want this to go over 15 for the secondary setup, but it did. It did only by a tiny little bit. I think it was six pennies. Yeah, six pennies. And then it set up in here, broke down here in the five-minute chart, rallied back, held again. You could have actually taken more and had to drop. The interesting thing is here, though, that this did continue down, had another entry, or you could have lowered the stop and held it on through. It's almost amazing where this went today, down to 14.27. 14.25 was the next target. It's, this essentially got there. Could this go to 14 dollars today? Yes. I think this is done now for the day, though. And it could have been done here when it came down to the low at 14.50, but the next target was 14.25, and it had so much momentum into itself that it actually pushed through that level down here to basically the, the last target. Again, another move that happened here was done by lunch. So my advice is to be out of everything flat by lunch. These stocks have had their morning moves. They took a little bit longer to get going here to fall today, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. This was another great bullish, uh, bearish professional gap today. This stock rated well per the 26-point rating system uh, and looked at it today, said this rate's good enough to short. It rated more than 20 points per my 26-point rating system for a short today, to take as a short. So if anyone's interested in the Golden Gap class, for August, the class is going to be August 9th and 10th. I'm doing a special three-day class that class. So it will be a third day on Monday with live trading, and we're going to do uh, live Golden Gap ratings then on that day. It will be a, a very good class. So if you're interested in learning uh, the, my method, the way that I trade, how do I find, how do I find out of hundreds and thousands of gaps every day, the two things that work the best, which, which I do all the time. <laughs> It's because of my rating system. It's because of my rating system. You, I get up in the morning, I scan for gaps, I look at the gaps, I rate the gaps. Here's all the things 
There was a bazillion things here this morning and even more that I looked at besides this list. How did I happen to pick these two that worked perfectly today, GNW and DWA? Because of the Golden Gap 26-point rating system. That is why. That is how. That is how I do it every day. And if you want to learn how, you can take the class. If you really are serious about making money in the market, my system works. My method works. The gap rating method works. The entries work. Uh, people love being in the live trading room. And you can take the class and learn how to do it. I think that people who are serious will learn from me. And uh, and people that aren't serious, then they don't really want to make money trading. Uh, trading is something you have to be serious about. You can't just throw yourself into the market and trade without having the right information. You've got to learn how to do it. You have to learn how to trade. You have to learn what to watch. You have to pick the right thing in the morning. You've got to get the entry right. you got to get the stop right. In fact, in DWA, let's quickly look at this. I was so spot on with the stop in this today that even this bar here that came up here this morning did not kick us out where we had to stop. This was a beautiful, beautiful call I made in here. And again, 100% conviction to hold it through this rally to know that the stock was going to break down and break through the low and go red and trade down and move the move that it had today, which was almost a dollar down here to the low from that pop. So beautiful, beautiful move and beautiful calls by me and the good picks. So the next class is August 9th and 10th. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information or if you want to sign up. And uh, have a fantastic day, everybody. Beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous day in New York City. Uh, and uh, going to have a great night tonight. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. Thanks.